What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I'm going to show you how to manage the firmware on your DJI Phantom 4 Pro using the Assistant application. This app that I'm referring to is made by DJI, and I think that it's very helpful and is a must-have if you own one of their drones. Now my reasoning for making this video is because I do get a lot of comments asking how to fix someone's broken drone. They always have some sort of problem, and with these drones there always seems to be some of the slightest things that go wrong. And my first response is always, is the drone on the latest firmware? With this software, you'll easily be able to check which software you're on, if it is the most up-to-date firmware, and you'll even be able to downgrade. So without further ado, and without wasting any more time, let's get into it. The first thing that we need to do is download the Assistant software, and we can find this on DJI's website. I'll throw the link to this exact page in the description, so it's going to be nice and easy for you guys to get there. Now if you have a Windows, you're going to want to click on either of these two links, but if you have a Mac, you're going to want to make sure you click on DMG. For me, I have a Mac, so I'll go ahead and download this version. Once the download is finished, we can head down to our downloads folder, and we'll see that the file is sitting in there. I'm not going to open it up, and I'm not going to install it just because I already have the software installed, but you guys should know how to install software on your computer by now. Just double click it, and go through all of the necessary steps. Now as far as the other things that we need to make this work, first of all we obviously need our Phantom 4 Pro, and we also need a micro USB cable to connect the drone to our computer. If you're new to the Phantom series of drones, the micro USB cable is located right next to the micro SD slot on the left side of the drone. Now that we've plugged our Phantom 4 Pro into the computer and downloaded the Assistant software, we can go ahead and open up the application. Once we're inside of the Assistant software, we need to make sure that the Phantom 4 Pro is on so it can be recognized by the computer. Now that the drone has been recognized by our computer, we can go ahead and click on it, and we'll see that we get brought to a page that has five different tabs. The first tab is the one that we need to be on, this is called Firmware Update, and we can see that there are all the different firmware versions for the Phantom 4 Pro. From this page, we can choose to downgrade to any software that we'd like, and we can also set our drone back to its factory default settings, just in case there's something that is maybe wrong with the software, and you just want to start from scratch. In the top right corner, we'll also see that there's a refresh button. If you don't see any of the newest firmware on there, make sure you click on that and see if it pops up then. The last thing that I want to point out on this firmware update page is that along the right side, under each of the different firmware versions, we have something that says release notes. And if we click on that, we can see everything that was changed in all of the different firmware updates, which is very helpful to look at if you're just curious as to why they keep releasing new firmware for the Phantom 4 Pro. So that about wraps this video up. I know it's a fairly short video, but it is a fairly short topic. This application is awesome, and I would highly recommend checking it out. Even if you don't have to downgrade your software, just plug your drone in and see what it's all about. It's also cool to look at some of those release notes, just to see what they're trying to improve on all of their Phantom drones. But as I said, this video is coming to an end. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here, as I have been trying to upload daily. Also leave a comment down below, letting me know if you want to dive more in depth to this assistant application on the computer. There's a lot of powerful things that it can do when you have your drone plugged in, and I would love to do that for this channel. But anyway, that's about it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.